All right, closing off your Monday with some beautiful blue skies out there. We had a warm front punch its way through. Now we started the day off with the clouds and the showers, rumbles of thunder, even some hail reports with a couple of those storms becoming severe through our morning and midday hours. Now, oh, that warm front's through and it really did warm up today. Temperatures kissing the 90 degree mark in our southern counties. Where are we at now? Well, let's take a look out at Hector. It is 82 degrees. Moorhead, same thing at your airport. Our wind is still gusting. It's got a southerly component component to it today to nearly 30 miles per hour. So a breezy night. Check out the heat near the South Dakota border. We're near 90 uh, in a the Aberdeen area. Sisseton at 86 and you can see the deep red shades here. That's where the heat is. It extends up the James River Valley, but it cuts off before we get into the Devil's Lake Basin and where we have lingering clouds and showers. Those temperatures still cool. The cool pool here in yellow showing some mid 60s right now from northern Beltrami County all the way up through Lake of the Woods as we have temperatures that are comfortable in the northern Red River Valley. Here are those exiting showers. They're on their way out. The wind is remaining though as you're heading out for your evening walk. We have gusts upwards of 25 or 30 miles per hour where you see the colored contours. Again, a south wind tonight, but we have some changes to tell you about here as we go into Tuesday. So here is our warm front. It is working its way northward as we go through the night. And that means some of you in Roseau County, Beltrami County will see temperatures rising even at this hour heading into the evening once that warm front passes through. Now, most of us will be clear and dry. I cannot rule out a renegade thunder shower this evening, but I don't anticipate it. And the risk of severe is fairly low as temperatures by the 10 to 11 o'clock hour slip to near 70 degrees. OK, here comes a cold front overnight and it will bring a few clouds. It will bring a brief burp of north winds that could exceed 30 miles per hour. So that may awaken you as far as showers or thunderstorms with this front goes. Uh, doesn't look too probable. We could have fog to start your morning. Spotty showers behind the cold front, mainly in our northern counties. So make sure you have the uh, well, the raincoat ready for the school kids as they're waiting for the bus up north. Now, temperatures will be near 60 degrees. I want you to focus on this area near Grand Forks and out towards Bemidji. As we go through the morning hours, just like today, we may see a rumble or two of thunder fire up along that boundary. Those will continue to progress their way eastward fairly quickly. So it's just going to be in the morning hours. Those could be strong and produce some hail and maybe some gusty winds. We'll keep you posted on that. North winds and spotty showers up north late in the day. The showers are gone, much like today. Temperatures, though, will be significantly cooler. As opposed to near 90s, we're going to be very close to 80 down south, but I believe we'll stay in the 70s at all those locations. Up north, mid 60s. Gusty north winds tomorrow, over 30 miles per hour at times. So be prepared for the weather wind switcheroo. Tomorrow evening, pretty quiet. I can't rule out a sprinkle along the international border in Fargo near 60 to start. Temperatures in the mid 70s. Gusty northwest winds throughout the area. 65 to 70 north, 75 to maybe near 80 in our South Dakota counties. Another look at that hail. Jason and Jerry, thanks for sharing your photo. Now the planning forecast. The cold front really will be felt Wednesday. Spotty chance of showers. First day of, well, well, the fall season <laughs> and it's going to feel like fall on Friday. Rain morning, rain afternoon. 58 for a peak temperature on a cool close to the work weekend. We'll have spotty showers this weekend as well. Yeah, that's going to be chilly. Little cool. All right, thanks, Hutch. A nurse will never forget her amazing effort at delivering a baby in a parking lot. That story is coming up next on Valley News Live at 6.